Dual agency is when a particular real estate agent or broker represents both the buyer and the seller. For instance, um, Keller Williams is a brokerage and there is a broker of record whose license is registered as the broker for that office. If somebody from that office has a buyer and somebody else from that office has the seller, that's dual agency. If I represent a buyer and a seller on my own property and I represent both parties, that's also dual agency. In terms of establishing whether or not a transaction is a dual agency transaction, the buyer and the seller, the buyer in particular is going to know that up front. Then the buyer is going to know that he's asking an agent to write an offer for him who already has the listing on the property. That's a choice that the buyer makes. Many buyers decide not to do that. They go find other representation. Many buyers won't buy a house unless they're buying it from the selling agent. The selling agent normally knows more about the property and it's the disclosures are a little more complete, many times a, pr a better price can be negotiated. It's hard because you're wearing two hats. <laughs> so you're representing the seller, you're representing the buyer, and this is in the, in the situation where you as the agent are representing both people. It's not where the broker of record has two agents that are representing the parties individually. It, it gets hard because, and it's more work actually for us, because we have to be very careful that the buyer and the seller consistently believe as they should, that we're representing their best interests. In the agency disclosure document that you sign with a buyer or a seller, uh, the first thing it spells out is, is that the agent has a fiduciary responsibility. And you have that responsibility to both sides. You need to represent them both to the best of your ability and to keep them intact and whole and not at risk. Basically, it is completely and totally up to the buyer to have a comfort level there. Again, it's, it's this whole issue of checking on the broker. If you really do want to work with the listing broker for some peculiar reason, you want to create this dual agency situation, then you need to at least check that broker's credentials out. At least I, that's what I would do. I would check them out and make sure that they're an honest and upright and reputable broker. Oh, mm -hmm.